Hello everyone, this is Sweet Lou Jeff Luzadder with South, Inside Southport Athletics and we're with Brandon Winters, the new football coach here at Southport. Brandon, I really appreciate your time. Uh, let's go over a little bit your background uh, being a head football coach. Where did, uh, did you play football in high school, where you went to high school and college? I did. Uh, I actually am a 2002 graduate of Southport High School where I, I played football. Uh, so. The, uh, the transition as uh, a teacher here and a, and a coach and now as the head coach has been uh, a pretty exciting thing for me to get an opportunity to uh, have an impact on the, the football program and the community where, where I grew up or grew up. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited to have the opportunity here in my, uh, my community. Um, I uh, graduated IUPUI. Uh, I've been here 11 years. I uh, started uh, as the head fresh or excuse me, assistant freshman coach. Uh, just kind of worked my way through up, up through the program. Was the defensive coordinator for five years, um, and now here I am as the head coach and ready to roll. We'll talk about uh, a defensive coordinator uh, looking at the head coaching position at Southport. Are you going to be describe? Can you describe yourself as being a? Obviously, you're going to be a de defensive minded coach. Uh, yeah, it's hard not to do that. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of where uh, my focus has been. Uh, but, but obviously we understand that it's a team effort, so we'll look to uh, uh, find out ways to put our defense in good, good uh, positions. Um, but we, we, I think our success over the years has been we've been a very complete team. Um, we, we've done things on special teams that make it hard for people to prepare for. Um, and we've been sound. We're not a team that you can just go out and run, run and score all over. We're not a team that you can line up and stop. You, you have to beat us at all, all three phases of the game, and I think that's been – a big part of our, our success is it's tough to win at three phases of the game, and, and I think we've done a pretty good job with that. Uh, regarding your 11 years uh, here, obviously you weren't under all those years under Coach Peoples, but uh, you what? probably have your own agenda. I do. Uh, but are you going to take a little bit of, away from what Coach Peoples has, has taught as far as the, the basics here and everything at, uh, at Southport? You know, Co Coach Peoples uh, is an outstanding leader and has been a great friend and mentor to me, and I'm, I'm very thankful of that. Uh, uh, and so I will take a lot of the things that, that I've learned from him and that we've done under him and continue to do those. Uh, but at the same time, I think you gotta, you, you got to be your own person. you got to be yourself. Um, I'm, I'm probably a little more excitable guy than, than Coach Peoples. He's pretty mellow. Um, but, but I'll look to, to continue to do what we've done well, what I've learned from him. Um, but I think if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you're not, you're not going to get better. You're going to get passed up. So we'll continue. Uh, I've got an outstanding staff, uh, very experienced staff. We've all been here together for, I think, nine years, the core of our staff. So I'll continue to, to get ideas and, and insight from them, and, and we'll continue to improve uh, and try new things. And, and try to add to what, what we've established. Now, I mentioned off camera about uh, just seeing what the team has now, but with you being assistant, you you somewhat know uh, what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to fill some big holes with uh, with Luke Johnson at, at quarterback. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what you got coming back here for the uh, the next campaign? Sure, yeah. I mean, it, this senior class has, has been the most successful in, in uh, and I believe, the, the history of Southport football. Luke, you talk about a quarterback that can do everything. I mean, having a good quarterback makes things easier. Uh, it does. But, uh, you know, we've got some good young players. We're going we're gonna to miss Luke, certainly. We're going to miss Evan Higgs. Uh, those guys put up uh, prolific numbers. Uh, well, we got some good guys coming back. We've got uh, one of the leading receivers in the state, Blake Evans, had well over 100 catches last year. Uh, he's an all-state caliber player. We look for him to have a big year. Uh, we've got uh, a center that's returning in, in Josh Campbell that was, was able to play pretty well for us as a sophomore. We've got, I think, a couple really good running backs and Andrew Mappis and Michael Walker. Both will be seniors. Both are experienced guys um, and both are pretty explosive guys. So uh, we look for those returners to be kind of the strength. And, uh, you know, our JV team, uh, we had some injuries early in the year last year and our, our, a lot of our kind of what would have been our JV kids were playing up. And they struggled, but after we they, we got healthy and those guys kind of filled their roles, so they ran off like six wins in a row at one point. So we've got some good good young players. Uh, defensively, we're going to probably be hurting more than people realize. We're losing two Division I uh, players in Eli Walton and Kyle Williams. Uh, so, you know, same situation, though. A lot of good reps on the JV. Um, we've got our, our numbers are, are good, uh, so we'll have some depth. So um, we're, we're, we're sad to see those guys go, but we're, we're positive about uh, the future. We think we've got some, some good young players. 
Now, being a, uh, a Southport grad and playing football here, I'm sure Coach Peoples had some teams that he liked beating. Do you have somebody within the conference or just around the area here, say Ron Colley, because I, I know I did some video casting the Ron Colley game. Do you have somebody on your uh, calendar that you're marking say, hey, I want to beat them just because, you know, going back to your days as a Southport Cardinal? Well, obviously, obviously we want to we want to dominate the township. I mean, there's no secret about it. You know, we want uh, we want Perry Meridian to, to be successful and their kids to do well, but we want to make sure that, that they don't on the third week of the season. Uh, so obviously that's a big game. Uh, I'll tell you, the Ron Colley kind of renewed rivalry on the south side has been uh, fantastic. The atmosphere for that game being the first game helps. Uh, the closeness of the kids, a lot of our kids know their kids, live next to their kids. That's been a lot of fun um, over the last couple years. Uh, and so those two, those two stand out, um, obviously. But I'll tell you, our schedule, we, got, we play against some well-coached teams, and every week on our schedule is an absolute battle. So uh, we definitely want to win those two, uh, but we've got to be prepared every week for, for a, 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 tough, a tough game. And the last question here, I'm sure you consider yourself very, very fortunate because you've got an outstanding facility to play on, not many teams. There's more and more. I'm from Lafayette, Jeff. We've got artificial surface, but I'm sure you're just ecstatic about stepping in and having the facility to play in that, uh, we, that you've got here. We love it, and uh, credit to our, our township level administration, uh, to our sponsors. Uh, Skillman Corporation has been very good to us, and I'll tell you, um, that, that stadium is an improvement on the experience for our players. It saves us time. I think it uh, saves us from some scrapes and bruises and, and not being able to practice because of the weather. Um, and it's a great facility. It's a lot of fun. When that place is full, it's got a pretty good capacity, and, uh, and uh, we're excited. It's a great place to play. The atmosphere is great on, on uh, Friday night, and uh, our, kids, our kids have a great time uh, with that. And the turf is certainly added to that. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your team, time, Brandon. Thank you very much for having me. This is Brandon Winters, a new football coach here at Southport. This is Sweet Lou Jeff Luzatter saying so long, everybody.